For almost two million years, humanity barely advanced. Stone tools unchanged. No writing, no technology, just survival. Then suddenly, in a blink of geological time, we sprinted into agriculture, the printing press, the internet, and now artificial intelligence. Each breakthrough arriving at dizzying speed. The title is Why the Human Era is About to End, and it's not hyperbole. The same mathematical force that made us dominant, compounding where each discovery accelerates the next, has now slipped beyond our control. Within your lifetime, humans may become passengers, not drivers, as civilization hands the wheel to something faster than we can imagine. But how did a species that conquered deep time lose control so quickly? The answer lies in the timeline they never taught you, one that's about to rewrite what it means to be human. Two million years ago, a chipped stone was the height of innovation. For generation after generation, the same hand axe shape passed from parent to child. No upgrades, no manuals, no rush. Life was measured in seasons, not centuries. Then, something subtle but world-changing took hold. Language began to spread, first as simple sounds, then as shared stories. With words, ideas could finally outlive the bodies that invented them. This was the first real compounding, knowledge stacking on knowledge, slowly at first, but always forward. Tens of thousands of years later, the first seeds were planted. Farming didn't just feed more mouths, it multiplied them. The global population, once stuck under 10 million, began to climb, doubling and redoubling over millennia. More people meant more ideas, more hands to build, more minds to remember. Villages became cities, skills became crafts. Then, about 5,000 years ago, writing carved memory into clay and papyrus. Now, a discovery could jump across continents or last for centuries. Each generation started with a bigger library than the last. The real acceleration came when Gutenberg's press rolled out in the 1400s. Suddenly, a single idea could leap from one mind to thousands in a single year. Books multiplied faster than any scribe could imagine. 10,000 new titles by 1500. Millions of pages in a world just waking up to literacy. What was once a slow trickle of change became a gathering current. The timeline was tightening, and compounding was no longer just a human trait. It was becoming a force of nature. Steam engines thundered across Britain in the late 1700s, cranking out cotton, coal and iron at speeds no human muscle could match. The Industrial Revolution, starting around 1760, doubled the world's economic output every 15 years, a pace that once took entire millennia. By the early 1900s, electric wires crept into American homes. In 1907, just 5% of houses had electricity. Within a lifetime, that number shot up to 90%. Light bulbs, radios and refrigerators turned night into day and changed what people expected from life itself. Then came computers. From the first transistor in 1947 to personal desktops in the 1970s, calculations that once filled whole rooms now fit on a single microchip. Moore's law, transistor counts doubling every two years, meant each decade packed more change than the last. The internet followed in the 1990s, linking millions, then billions, in a web of instant communication. By 2007, smartphones put the world's knowledge in every pocket. Time to adoption collapsed. What took electricity 50 years, smartphones did in less than 10. Now even science itself is compounding. In 2020, AlphaFold, an AI model, predicted 200 million protein structures in under two years, outpacing what biologists achieved in decades. Each leap arrives faster, built on the last. The intervals between breakthroughs are shrinking and the curve is bending upward, tighter and tighter, towards something new. Let's try a simple experiment. Take a single sheet of paper, just standard printer paper, fold it in half once, then again and again. With each fold, the thickness doubles. After seven folds, it's about as thick as a notebook. After 20 folds, it would reach the height of a house. Fold it 50 times if you could and the stack would stretch from Earth to the sun. That's 80 million miles. Sounds impossible, but the math checks out. Each doubling multiplies the last total, not just adds to it. The numbers start small, then explode. 
It's the same with the classic chessboard story. Place one grain of rice on the first square, two on the next, four on the third. By the halfway point, the pile seems big but manageable. By the 64th square, you need more rice than has ever been grown in human history. Exponential growth always looks slow, until suddenly, it's not. This is the math that drives every curve we've traced so far. When the world first heard about a strange new virus in early 2020, most people shrugged, a few cases in Wuhan. How bad could it get? Two weeks later, infection numbers had doubled, then doubled again. By March, hospitals in Italy and New York were overwhelmed. The curve, once flat and forgettable, shot upward so fast it left governments scrambling and scientists warning of numbers that sounded impossible. This wasn't a failure of intelligence or data. It was a failure to see what exponential really means in the real world. Our brains are built to expect tomorrow to look a lot like today. For tens of thousands of years, that was a safe bet. Hunting, farming, even early industry all moved at a pace that let us keep up. But when something starts doubling, whether it's a virus, an invention or a line of code, our gut instincts break down. The COVID-19 pandemic was a global lesson in just how badly humans misjudge exponential change, even when the math is simple and the stakes are sky high. The same blind spot now shadows how we govern technology, making it easy to underestimate what's coming next. GPT-2 launched in 2019. It could string together a few convincing paragraphs. Impressive, but still a party trick. One year later, GPT-3 could write essays, answer technical questions, and even code. By 2023, GPT-4 passed law and medical exams, analyzed images, and powered tools used by millions. Each leap wasn't just a bigger model, it was a thousandfold jump in measured capability. The pace is dizzying. OpenAI's own stats show training compute doubling every three to four months, far outstripping Moore's law. But here's the twist. AI isn't just learning from humans anymore. In 2020, DeepMind built an AI that designed next generation computer chips faster and better than expert engineers. Those chips now train even stronger AIs, closing a feedback loop. Meanwhile, Google's AutoML has AIs designing new neural networks with minimal human input, sometimes finding solutions no researcher had considered. The MIT team behind Halicin used an AI to scan thousands of molecules for new antibiotics. It found a drug candidate in under 48 hours, a process that usually takes years. Each of these breakthroughs is a proof point. Machines are now improving themselves and the cycle is tightening with every iteration. In April 2023, Jeffrey Hinton, the man widely known as the godfather of deep learning, walked away from Google. His reason wasn't a new job or a research grant. Hinton went public with a warning. AI's trajectory was escaping human understanding and the people building it could no longer guarantee control. He compared the situation to summoning something alien, something that could soon outthink its creators. That same year, OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, erupted into boardroom chaos. In November, CEO Sam Altman was fired, then reinstated three days later. Internal messages leaked, showing directors torn between pushing for faster AI progress and fears over safety and oversight. The debate wasn't about business strategy, it was about whether anyone could steer the ship as AI's pace doubled and redoubled. Outside the headlines, expert surveys put the odds of artificial general intelligence, machines that can match or exceed humans at any task, at 50% by 2040, with some betting on five to 10 years. The real cutoff though is agency. Most projections now put the window for meaningful human oversight at 20 to 50 years. After that, AI may be designing better AI, running economies and setting research agendas with humans watching from the sidelines. It's not extinction, but something closer to the horse after the car. Still here, but no longer driving the future. In just 200 years, the world's economic output began doubling every 15 years, a pace unimaginable during the two million year stone tool stasis. This documentary traced how each leap, agriculture, writing, printing, industry, computers, 
AI, shorten the gap between revolutions. Today, systems like AlphaFold have mapped over 200 million protein structures. And in 2023, leading researchers like Jeffrey Hinton publicly warned that oversight of AI's development is slipping beyond human grasp. Yet, no law or policy has reversed the acceleration. It remains unknown how or if humanity can guide technologies that now improve themselves faster than any human institution. What is clear? The exponential compounding that built our era now outpaces the linear limits of human decision-making. The evidence shows the human era is not ending in extinction, but in obsolescence. Our role shifting from drivers to passengers in a world shaped by the very intelligence we set in motion.